welcome fellow comic pilots to another episode of Let's Play Metal Fatigue for the Melacro Corporation. Assembly station somewhere. Battle on surface. Yeah, it does feel like the enemy completely blew their their uh, reserves on the initial attacks and just simply ran out of steam. Good thing this is sci-fi, otherwise that would be awkward. Well, then again, steampunk max have their own charm. Underground Combat part completed. Yeah, there's nothing over here, and this this pool hasn't even been touched. What have you been doing, Rimtech? That's just insulting. Mass up for the assault approach here. Uh, let's see jetpack, power gun, Gatling, Gatling. Oh, right. We need more combat crews. Power gun, Kathleen. Energy, thanks. Full. Combat construction possible. Vehicle complete. Vehicle complete. Speed things up a bit. Uh, the this rate. Manpower exhausted. Alright, let's 
get some more cryo farms going. Energy banks full. Battle on surface. Vehicle complete. Vehicle complete. complete. Vehicle complete. Battle on surface. Vehicle complete. complete. Let's pave the way. Battle on surface. Alright then. Mission log completed. Type A to all units. Channel in Rimtech and Naropa. Acknowledged. Proceed. This is Stefan Angelis. I speak for the people of Milagro. Today, we have thrown off the dark shackles of oppression and stand in the light of freedom. The Milagro Corpo Nation is dead, and a republic rises from its ashes. We claim Hidak II as our sovereign world. We reject anyone or any Corpo Nation who would dictate our destiny, and we will defend ourselves against all aggressors. This vow we take today. Never again will we live in the long shadow of tyranny, even if it means our lives. Bold words.
Could have been put in any action movie, really. Right. Well, let's let's see what I what do I think about that. Yeah, kind of like it. it. It's a fairly box standard <laughs> approach to a campaign. Hero gets captured. Hero gets enslaved by enemy. Hero overcomes his enslavement and becomes boss of enemy of uh, of the enemy. Seen it a million times before. Well, probably not a million times, but you know, the basic premise stands. And well, actually, fairly good arc. At, at least I sympathized a, way, a lot more with Stefan than I did with Diego. But then again, Stefan was ultimately a very likable character. He actually cared about his people. Uh, Diego didn't seem to care about anyone except for Isadora, and well, when she was gone, see what a maniac he became. Ah, uh, well. Another campaign done. Alright. No, I still got eight minutes to go. May as well have a look at Neuropa then. Alright, Neuropa. Speed and stealth set Neuropa apart from the other Corpo nations. Recommended as the final campaign. I wonder why. Because I'm not really good at either of those things. Although I think you can play in Europa pretty much like any of the others. I mean I didn't I don't think I've really played Malacro that much differently than I did Rimtech, which, you know, maybe good, maybe bad. Uh, Milacro is fairly straightforward. Europa, probably not quite so much. The third Nexus subject is Jonas Angelus, the middle of the three Angelus brothers. His ambition rivaled Diego's, but his primary loyalty was to himself. By taking the heat off arm to Neuropa, Jonas had helped trigger the Corpo Nation War. Neuropa differed from the other Corpo Nations by engaging in profit to advance a belief system. Worshipping alien technology was the core tenet of Neuropa. Jonas' arrival in possession of a new type of heat off arm provided a propaganda coup that brought many new converts to the Neuropan faith. Moreover, tactically, the arm gave them a technological advantage with which to overcome non-believers. While the Neuropa Theocracy considered what to do with Jonas, he was assigned to combat duty. His first mission, investigate a nearby heat-off structure. He was to avoid combat with the other Corpo Nations, as Neuropa wished to avoid the appearance of being at war. Uh-huh. Alright, goals. Jonas must personally examine the heat-off structure. Jonas must survive. Alright, so the basic stuff again for the tutorial stuff. Personal Testament of Brother Jonas Angelus of the Divine Order of Neuropa. Recorded this 358th day of the 64th year of our enlightenment. Yeah, probably not going to do that every time, but anyway. Well, here I am at Neuropa and it feels pretty damn good. They've treated me like a hero. Their tech skills and their fanaticism are even stronger than I've heard. It celebrates... That damned arm like it was the second coming of their great prophet, Geradine. I figured bringing them that alien arm would land me in the senior management. Well, they made me a senior combat commander, so now I'm higher ranked than Diego. Well, it's Diego's loss that he didn't come with me. Diego's blind, blindly loyal to Rimtech, just like father was. If he's not careful, he'll end up another casualty of Rimtech's short-sightedness too. Sort of. But I think you're in over your head, uh, Jonas. Alright. We probably should set up quickly enough. Energy banks full. Because the enemy is already sniffing about. Alright, let's also set up an energy bank.
right. Not much power around that I can easily grab. And this build's so damn slow. Build completed. Right, well. So, they have a lot of kinetic defense, but not much energy defense, mostly energy attack. Against Rimtech, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Vehicle Although, admittedly, complete. they have me currently outnumbered, and I can't easily harvest any energy, so... So, yeah. Well, I think I'm probably going to stick Vehicle. with firepower for this one, then. But I'll feel much better once uh, I've got Jonas in a combat, because this is uh, a bit dangerous. Finish it. Finish it. Build completed. All right. Well, in the meantime, let's make sure that our path to power Battle. is not obstructed by any roaming units because I need a path to power as it is. Let's make sure that all the lava pools nearby are secure and in my control. At least the tanks for the robot will feel a lot faster. Right. Well, I am practically out of power, so... Let's just go half as it. Make sure that nothing is hidden behind us. Because I totally see them doing that. Right, I'll stop this as soon as I finish the assembly. Build completed. 
And I've got Jonas in the assembly. All right then, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.